Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because the episode actually isn't even finished yet. And we need you to jump in, get involved, and help us finish this thing up right now. Let's go. Music has always been a great way to bring people together. And since we're in this strange time where we're all having to social distance, we figured, why don't we all social distance together? So we've created a new song. It's really simple. It has drums, bass, and rhythm guitars. And we need you to join our band and help us finish this tune. You could add a dope maraca track. Harmonica. Saxophone. Harpsichord. Mouth harp. Mandolin. Synthesizer. Piano. You could write a vocal track. But for now, let's listen to the track so you can start getting your ideas. Now that you've listened to the jam, I'm sure you have a bajillion ideas. This is what to do next. Step one is simply finish the song any way that you want to, and then upload that to Instagram or Facebook and tag at JHS Pedals. Now, the most important part is that you then hashtag jam with JHS. That allows Nick and I to click that hashtag and view every video that all of you are creating. Now, the best and most fun part to me is that you guys also get to do the same thing. Click the hashtag, be inspired by what others just like you are doing all over the world. And in this crazy isolated time, we're not so isolated. And there's several different ways you can do this. You can go to the description below and download the stems I've provided as well as a master track. Or if that feels too complicated, you can just set your iPhone up and play this video in the background and jam over top of it. Make it as simple or as complicated as you want. If you wanted to hire JJ Abrams and have a full cast member of people dressed up in gorilla costumes, you can do that too. Or you can just hang out in your mom's basement and make it happen. Yeah. No worries. You can do anything you want. And then in two weeks on April 3rd, we're gonna do a part two of this episode where Nick and I talk about and show in full our favorite versions of the finished song. And that's super exciting to have all of you guys create with us. Let's go to record time. Today's, Today's record, record time, time is, brought is brought to you by a bunch, bunch of, records. of records. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Six. Six records. Yep. You go first. Okay. My first record that I'm recommending is Magical Mystery Tour by The Beatles. This album is wild. It has a wild name. The album cover's crazy. The songs are crazy. And it's got this dope quote on the inside. Away in the sky beyond the clouds live four or five magicians. By casting wonderful spells, they turn the most ordinary coach trip into a magical mystery tour. If you let yourself go, the magicians will take you away to marvelous places. Maybe you've been on a magical mystery tour without even realizing it. Are you ready to go? Splendid. <laughs> There's no drugs involved in nope, that era. None at all. None. At all. What do you got? All right, my first choice is actually uh, Paul Moak on a old episode recommended this and yep. I had listened a little but then I got into this and it's one of my favorite records so it's the cardigans and it's called long gone before daylight now everyone's heard loveful yeah great song that yep. album's great this is a masterpiece record it's mixed so well the songwriting her vocals and her melodies the song a good horse you're the storm yeah it's just a great record to listen to. I know that sounds silly, but like you could just put this on and let it roll. Every song's killer. Yeah, as opposed to those albums that you. There's you albums watch. you have to work for. Yeah, That's yeah. What I, mean. I know what you mean. I like working for a record, but this. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. My next record is not this one. I'm gonna save that one. 
Summer Teeth by Wilco. This album is amazing. My favorite tracks on here are She Is A Jar and Via Chicago. Via Chicago has like the craziest drum section in it at the end. This whole song is pretty chill up until a certain point and then the drums just explode and like they just are, it's like insane. It's like a drunk caveman was let loose on a drum set. And if you ever get to get a chance to hear them play this song live, it's just wild. Like, it'll yeah. blow your head off. It's I amazing. had never heard this album, and we went to see them, and I was like, is this song broken? Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. What else you got? All right, my number two is from Our Lady Peace. I'm a big fan of this band, especially this era, these few years around this record. This one's called Happiness Is Not A Fish That You Can Catch. That's a good name. Yeah, it is a good name. It's pretty classy. So this band is so unique that to some people they're a little hard to like i get that but mike turner the guitarist in this era is one of my favorite guitarists ever on records like the way he thinks and plays and his effects like i realize when i listen to this how much i rip him off hmm. like it's a band i forget yeah. that i basically copy constantly um yeah every song just super super great record check it out for my last record, I picked Mac DeMarco 2. Two, not yeah, one. Not one, two. Um, this album is amazing. Mac DeMarco is one of those artists who I could kind of put on any one of his albums and I just really enjoy it. Um, I love the song Freaking Out the Neighborhood. Uh, Ode to Viceroy is incredible. My Kind of Woman. Still Together is incredible. There's actually a part at the end of Still Together where it's like a recording of him waking his girlfriend up after she fell asleep in the studio. It's really adorable. Um, yeah, Mac DeMarco, this guy don't care. He's doing whatever he wants. Yeah. My last record is Neil Young, Harvest Moon. Yes. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's really good. Yes. Like, I had heard Harvest. This is like a strange sequel decades later after Harvest. But this record made me really fall in love with Neil Same. Young. Yeah. Same. Do you remember we played it in the yeah, shop? Yeah, there the was time? a period of time where we were all like, oh, I don't get Neil Young. That guy's weird and his voice is funny. And then we heard this album and it like lit a fire that would never be put out by any any flood. An eternal flame. An eternal flame of love for Neil Young. Unknown legend. So good. From Hank to Hendrix. So good. <laughs> now there's a part in one of these songs that I hate the concept but it's amazing. It's harmonica and accordion playing yeah. the same. It's like two of basically the same instruments. And it's amazing. I There's so many great songs. Yeah. So Check them yeah. out. Six, six, six records. records. You don't get six. this on television. No. 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 ABC. Only here. I don't see NBC doing this. No. You get Not, all, check this out. I don't see MTV doing it. No. Come on. Come you on. Check it out. All right. Do it. Do it. As always, thanks for watching this, and this time, thanks for being involved. I'm really excited to see what all of you do. Next week will be a normal episode, but the week after is the part two, like we said. And the most important part of this whole thing is that we actually get to see what you've done. That's the fun part. So be sure to use the hashtag JamWithJHS, and be sure to tag at JHS Pedals as well. Just have fun. Share the video with friends. Be creative, and we'll see you next week. See ya.